I had to change my tire this weekend and I thought that might be a pretty cool thing to film. I didn't start filming until after I'd gotten, you know, my spare out of the trunk. Then I thought, you know, that was kind of a, uh, a cool part of the process. My folks really did want to see like what I would actually do if I really needed to change my tire. So I've decided to reenact it for you guys so you can see how I would have gotten my spare out of the trunk if I was stranded or whatever. Sam, what are you doing in the car? It's not the best situation in the world if I am stranded. It is tough, but you know, it's not, not impossible or anything. I'm gonna be putting on my donut tire. I got my donut, and I got my jack. It is really flat, and also all the tire places are closed, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put the donut on it for now because I might not be able to do anything about it till Monday. I guess step one, jack up the car. Mm -hmm. Man, this thing is gonna take forever. If any of you have never used one of these before, and it's a good jack, it just takes a long time because you just have to do little half circles here. All right, we're getting some lift. Look how strong I am, I'm picking up this gigantic car. All right, I got plenty of lift. So now I'm going to use this hand again crowbar to remove all the lug nuts. Getting the tire out of the trunk was not the most difficult part. So it turns out my 70 pound body weight was not enough to get those uh, those lug nuts or whatever uh, undone. And so if I had been stuck on the side of the road, I might have actually been a little screwed. Granddad has what he calls a cheetah bar and that should give more leverage. So hopefully that works, but we'll see. It's basically a multi-purpose metal pipe Slot on the end right here, and then with the extra leverage. Oh, look at that. We got one down. Yes, on it. Should be able to get uh, the rest of them off of just this. It was only flat on the bottom. Yeah. You're right. This thing is hot.
Got the tire changed. It wasn't so bad. The hardest thing really is to get uh, the tire in and out of my trunk. Uh, granddad helped me put uh, my old tire back in my trunk, so that was nice. Uh, but a couple of things happened. You know, had I actually tried this on the side of the road, I wouldn't have been able to get the the uh, nuts off for sure. And then also, the tire was a little low. Like the first thing I had to do was put air in it. So I feel very fortunate that I changed this in my yard. Got it on, and uh, next stop, tire shop. I was able to get my tire fixed on Tuesday. Um, got a brand new tire, pretty good deal on it. The tire place I go to is like literally right across the street. So I only had to put half a mile on my donut, so that was pretty cool. But I'm, uh, I'm all set. So I did a Barcraft comment video last week. A couple of people have asked me if I can play football. Now, uh, I don't know if they're talking about soccer, if it's like British people, or if they're just kidding around. But football is actually like my favorite sport and I played it all the time growing up as a kid. I'm going to show you guys how I would uh, throw the football or how I would catch the football. We had one rule that was different uh, for me and it was if I went up for a pass to like catch the ball or whatever, um, I could catch the ball and then I could just put it down and then I could run, you know, because I couldn't really like run with the ball in my hand and also I guess another rule would be I'm not automatically down just because technically my knees are on the ground this is my friend James and uh, with uh, his help I'm gonna show you guys how I play football uh, yeah what's up guys all right let's get to it in order to uh, throw the ball I just balance on my left arm and slingshot the ball with my right arm but I'm pretty good at throwing a spiral Ready? All right, just a simple quick pass, you know. I didn't often play wide receiver. You know, like I said, the rule, you know, I catch it and I put it down. So here's how that would work. catch it and then I got you know I loved football so much I wanted to do everything in football including like kick field goals or punt I'm gonna show you guys how I would like punt it might look similar to like volleyball but in my mind it was punting roll tag baby roll tag <laughs> I have a few football like stories. There was a game I played in once. I was playing wide receiver. The guy that was guarding me was like six foot something, just a high jump or whatever. But I got far enough uh, behind him. So a uh, guy threw me the ball. I went up on both my nubs to catch it, you know, hands over my head. But when I came back down, like this elbow came down on a rock. And uh, I had the ball, like I would have caught it, but that slammed it out of my hand. But yeah, I was out of commission for like two months. And then there was another time, you know, I usually play all-time quarterback. I mean, I can't really throw that far, but I'm pretty accurate and like it's the, it's the position that I'm like the best at for me, I guess, you know. So I want to be like the most useful I can on a team. Anyway, I threw an interception <laughs> and uh, the guy I threw it to weighed about 200 pounds. And like I went running towards him and then he got hit from either side and they all just came down crashing on me. Like, luckily I didn't get injured or anything. He gets like 10 or 15 kids in the whole neighborhood. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Uh, somebody always got hurt, always. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, that's when the game was over. Like, there was no, like, maximum points or time. The game was over when, and sometimes not even then. Be like, all right, it's eight versus nine now. Let's see if y'all can make that comeback. Or yeah, something yeah. like that, you know? Right. Yeah. Football is like a pastime for me. Uh, just for the record, I actually do like support, you know, all the new rules that are keeping folks from getting injured. You know, I used to think that would take like all the thrill out of the game, but that was just silly. So I am a big fan of that. I, I think the game should be as safe as possible. There's no reason people should go through life with head injuries. I grew up with football, so it's just a big part of my life, you know. 
Of course, the Ravens, that's a big part of everybody's life. Yeah, everybody born in Alabama likes football. Roll right Tide or War Eagle. I'd like to thank James for coming out and tossing the football with me. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>